Good evening and welcome to the second virtual annual day celebration of DPS Kalu. This year's theme is Incredible India. Sit back and enjoy. A warm good evening to everyone. It is my privilege to welcome all of you to the second annual day of DBS Kolam. For the first virtual annual day celebration, I Ishal Nafal, along with Hani H, Ashish Ablash and Ayana S will be hosting this wonderful and exciting event. We are truly blessed with your presence. Prayer is talking to God Almighty. Let's begin our program with a silent prayer. I request to bow your head in reverence for the prayer. Music is the universal language of life. So let us start this evening with our inaugural song, You Raise Me Up, a song dedicated to our parents and teachers.
That was indeed heavenly. We feel proud to invite our Honorable Chairman Sri M. Abdul Aziz to address the gathering. Good evening. Welcome to Delhi Public School Day, second annual day. We have all the time. The Delhi Public School is the first time we have to do this. The first time we have to do this, we have to do this, we have to do this. Semua masyarakat itu mengalami kendala. Adakah sebeli hari kita ini berdiri ada Delhi Public School berada di peringkat kedua. International level ada pelajar seringkali berada pagi malam di sana Delhi Public School berada di peringkat kedua. Covid kali itu, kucing itu naik ke kelas ini dengan pelajar naik ke sana ini asyik berjaya manusia kekong. Online kelas ini adalah yang awal ada posisi seorang mahu cover ini dengan sahaja cerita. Adine menurut ayat itu natala perspektifnya, ilah teacher sini, ia asal dulu, saya nak berani kira. Ini yang di dua orang la, daringan parents, kucingan, macam ilah orang ini, ilah itu sahaja sahaja orang, pasti susu anda, nanti tu no, nanti tu. Thank you sir for your words of wisdom. I hereby take this opportunity to invite our director, Dr. Hasan Aziz, to say a few words. Good evening to all. Yet another academic year have come to an end. I feel extremely proud of our students for their immense support to make this function meaning. As you all know, this pandemic has caused significant hardship in every aspect of our life, especially for the students and parents. So I congratulate the parents and students for their constant support during this academic year. Looking forward to see you all soon in the Nikki's campus. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Next, may I cordially invite our constant source of motivation, our principal, Ms. Obak Charaji, to address the audience. Good evening and a warm welcome to the second annual day of Delhi Public School Kolab. Right at the onset, I would like to welcome our honorable chief guest, Ms. Nalini Netto, a retired IS officer. Thank you, ma'am, for honoring and presiding over this beautiful location of our school. I welcome each and every member of the school management, and I welcome the parents of our dear children, and I welcome our dear babies, who is the backbone of our school. And I also welcome our teachers and the others who is associated with this illustrious institution. It has been an incredible year. It's been just of one year that we have completed a corona infested world. The common cough and cold took an uncommon turn. We have never seen the likes of this in our combined lifetime. We are all aware of the exigencies that we faced and our entire lives went topsy-turvy. For most parts, it was a major global financial crisis but on the flip side a lot of values which were eroding came back into place families were dining together all over again fathers had time to give to the mothers and the children mothers were not rushing in the morning to go to their office or workplace so we found there was something which was good on the other side of the corona a unique teacher-pupil bonding was restored online and the doctors who came in for a flack for everything that they did, we started having our faith on them. The faith which was required to be given to the medical fraternity was restored and with fingers crossed will remain the way it is. And now I need to eulogize the teachers, the teaching fraternity which went above board to help the student. The immense change in the education scenario gave a standing ovation to the teaching fraternity. And I, today, am privileged to give a very short annual report to all of you. And I start with my salute to all my teachers. And as I salute my teachers, I am also going to extend this reverential salute to the entire global, global teaching fraternity. Thank you for whatever you have done and you still are doing. I extend my gratitude 
towards DPS society for having helped us and given the care and guidance which we required as and when we required it. We are grateful and blessed to have a understanding, caring, egalitarian school management who is always there to stand next to us whenever we require them and even when we don't. Thank you so much all of you for being there. When it comes to the classes that we held, overnight we had to change to blended learning and flipped classroom. We used various modes to reach and teach our children and we used a lot of modes and methods to reach out to the parents as well. The platforms used by us is on the screen for you to see how we have used different methodologies and techniques to reach out to you. Despite the situation, our spirits and our steps never faltered. We went ahead, we forged ahead with a missionary zeal and nothing made us uh, feel incapable or feel low. We tried our level best to match up to all the big schools of the country and the world. Whatever the situation was, we forged ahead and we have been able to do special assemblies, we have been able to do junior annual day, we are doing the senior annual day right now. We also have in store a STEAM exhibition which you are going to see very soon. The work is in progress. We are also going to host the uh, summer camp, virtual summer camp. And there are two parts to this virtual summer camp. One which we are organizing named Summer Bonanza 2021 and the other which we are organizing too but with the help of the Mumbai based Sports for All SFAplay.com. Please do register your child for the same. I will wind up my speech now because I do not want to hold on to the mic and I want to pass it on to the children who are eagerly waiting to show you how incredible India is through a short play or rather musical titled Incredible India. And when we are going to start that, it is about children who's gone to eight beautiful states of this country and gathered information and that is what they are going to pass on to you. Now when we see this, we understand how culturally developed and wonderful this country is at the same point, how diverse we are, yet how strong rooted we are to our motherland and we need to understand that first we need to love our country, our own states. It is always said local to global. Understand your language, understand, love your food, love the people around you and that is how you will understand the global scenario better. So let's start fostering those uh, ideas into our children. Let them learn to first love and respect their own country whatever it is and then they will learn to love and respect others with these words i come to an end of my speech and i thank each and every one of you for being a part of this journey of this beautiful school stay with us and with this i would like to welcome our chief guest of the evening miss nalini Neto. ma'am we would like to hear a few words from you thank you very much jai hind it is indeed my privilege to welcome our chief guest, Ms. Nalini Neto, to the second annual day celebration of DPS Kalam. Ms. Nalini Neto is a retired officer of the Indian Administrative Service. She was inducted to IAS in 1981. In her long career, she has held key posts, including the District Collector, Director of Tourism Kerala, Commissioner for Rural Development, Kerala Additional Chief Secretary, Home and Vigilance Government of Kerala, Chief Electoral Officer for about 11 years since 2005. She served as the Chief Principal Secretary to the Chief Minister of Kerala from September 2017 to March 2019. Hailing from Trivandrum, she completed her school and college education with flying colours. She was ranked second in Master of Science Chemistry from University College Trivandrum in 1980 and gained MPhil in Applied Economics in 1992. Also, 
1998, she completed her MA in Rural Development with a designation from the University of East Anglia, United Kingdom. Despite her busy schedule, she finds time to be in the world of books and music. Her proficiency in English, Malayalam, Hindi, Tamil and German is something very noteworthy. A globe trotter who has visited foreign countries like USA, UK, Germany, France, Portugal, Singapore and many more has helped her widen her spectrum of knowledge and contribute to the welfare and society at large. Ma'am, on behalf of the DPS Cullen family, I formally welcome you to this evening's gathering. Over to you, ma'am. Dictatories attending the function, students, parents, teachers and non-teaching staff. It is indeed a privilege for me to address you on this happy occasion of the annual day of the Kolam DPS. I have been associated with the school for nearly over a year, but the COVID-19 pandemic has stood in the way of direct interaction. It has been a real tough year for all of us, all over the world, for the young and the old alike. But we have all tried to adjust to keep our spirits high by reading and doing activities which we were not able to do so far. For children and parents, it must have been a real challenge. Hope we'll soon be able to get back to our routine with proper precautions and redouble care, of course. Down memory lane, I try to recollect my school days during the period from 1963 to 1973, nearly half a century ago. Learning those days was mainly from the teachers at school, parents and elders at home, as also from books some bought and some borrowed from libraries. There was no TV, no internet and no photocopier even. There was really a struggle hunting for information but I feel that we were able to absorb that information well. But today the situation is different. This is an age of information revolution. Modern technology has enabled information to be accessed at the click of a mouse, but technology cannot transform information into knowledge. Saving the right type of information is the key to success. Information has to be processed to knowledge and then to wisdom. Is it taking place? That is the crucial question. It is here that a new role emerges for teachers and parents. Information revolution should not result in valuing in information. It should be the right, appropriate type of information gleaned and later processed and assimilated for the betterment of the human being. At the end of the day, we should not be left to answer the questions, where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? Where is the knowledge we have lost in information? No less important are the extracurricular activities which help to bring out the latent talent in the children. The school has been taking a keen interest in this aspect, thus enabling an all-round development of the personality of the children. I take this opportunity to wish all the children well and hope and pray that they grow to be responsible citizens of the country. Any education can be considered useful only if it uplifts the mind of the child, kindles the spirit of inquiry and gives the strength and courage of conviction to stand up to what is right. The effort of every teacher and parent should be to ensure that the children studying in the school should be able to have their minds without fear and to be able to hold their heads high. As a woman, I will be failing in my duty if I do not stress on the importance of creating healthy gender awareness. All around us, gender gap is palpable in economic aspects, education, health and survival and political empowerment. I am sure the school is taking this issue seriously and making every effort to tune the minds of both boys and girls to respect talent irrespective of gender, to share the family responsibilities wherever possible instead of trying to promote traditional gender roles, to develop the capacity to distinguish between what is to be empowered and subjugated and to stand up with courage with faith in God Almighty. I thank the Principal Abhak Chatterjee for giving me this unique opportunity. It has been a pleasure interacting with her. I conclude with a sincere prayerful thought while inaugurating the annual day 
that the school may grow stronger and be a beacon of light to the coming generations. Thank you. Thank you, Principal Ma'am, for your inspiring words. Thank you, Nalini Ma'am, for your beautiful words. We are indeed grateful to have you amongst us. Now, we will present a musical by the students of DPS Kollam named Incredible India. India. India is one of the most diverse countries in the world with different cultures, languages, cuisines, attires, and so on within its geographical boundaries of various states, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh. We have always been an enchanting land with a myriad of wonderful elements. From the snow-capped Himalayas to the Indian Ocean, from the Thar deserts to the dense forests of the east, there's so much to explore. Incredible India is our humble attempt to unveil beauty of India. Now, let me tell you what happened before the sea, from where you start seeing prologue. We see four families with two siblings each, and each family who had gone on a vacation to different parts of India are all returning home to Kerala. They are waiting at the lounge of Bangalore Airport, where they are very excited as they see each other and start discussing animatedly about their trips. Let us hear what they have to say about their vacations. May I have your attention please for security reasons? No items or luggage was present at attendance. Passengers are requested to report any suspicious item or behavior to the nearest BIAS staff, the terminal manager, or to the security staff on the phone number 08. Hello everyone! I'm so happy to see you! Hi! It's wonderful to meet so many dipsides in Bangalore airport. Where had all of you gone to? We are coming back from our vacation from the northern part of India. We too are coming back from our vacation and going home. Hey, let's exchange your waking story as we wait for the flight to be announced. May I have your attention, please? Oh, I feel sad that our journey has come to I feel so proud to have been born in a great country like India, which is so rich in cultural diversity. Guys, I so love the folk dances of Punjab and Kashmir. Folk dance? You say folk dances? Those are not fun. Not at all interesting. I prefer salsa, hip hop, and b boying. That's so sad, Swadik, that you're looking down upon your own culture. You mean anything that happens in another country is fun and everything that belongs to India is boring? So sad. Do you know what the world renowned writer Mark Twain has said about our country? India is the cradle of human race, the birthplace of human speech the mother of history, the grandmother of legend, and the great-grandmother of tradition. Now that you say this, Alina, I realize we are really unique. So many states, languages, cuisines, folk, and classical dances, cultures, and traditions. Yet, we are all Indians. Hmm, you're right. And let me tell you about our vacation. We went to a paradise on earth, Kashmir. We stayed in a houseboat. We had modut palau, which is a rice dish, which is sweet and flavorful and healthy with lots of dry fruits. And has saffron as the main spice, which gives it a beautiful color and aroma. Yummy. And uh, their rove dance is a springtime dance performed by women. Do you want to see how they dance?
का रंग है सच्चा बाकी सारे झूठे हाथों से अब मेहंदी का ये रंग कभी न झूठे We went to the ski resort Gulma Kondori after what and enjoyed watching others skiing. Ishan tried and he fell down. Ha ha ha, what's so funny? At least I tried, but you didn't. People think that the ski competitions and skiing happens only in the Alps? Think again. And you don't need to go to Switzerland to see the beautiful landscape. Just go to Kashmir and see the beauty. Here is a glimpse of our paradise on earth. Must have guessed where we went after visiting Kashmir. Yes, the land of foodies. Mmm, stuffed parathas, makhan maar ke lassi. Wah, mera Punjab. We love watching the Punjabis do Bangra and Gidda, which they do during festivals, weddings, and celebrations. Swadik, you talked about hip hop, etc. You know Bhangra in a folk dance competition abroad was adjusted as one of the liveliest folk dances in the world? Oh, balle balle! We saw the lively dance performed to the accompaniment of short songs and to the beat of a dole. 
The word Punjab is a combination of two Persian words, Panch and Ab, thus signifying the land of five waters or rivers. Punjab is also known as the breadbasket of India because it produces a huge amount of wheat.
Do you know what kind of instrument this is? It is a madala. I had seen it in Orissa as we had gone to the eastern part of our country this vacation. It is traditionally used as a primary percussion in Orissa. Have you seen their folk dances? Well, the Sambalpur is a folk dance where the villagers sing and dance without any inhibition. It is a nature dance as they interact with the nature. Now to think about the folk dances in a new light, that was such a spectacular performance. Did you know that Oreo cuisines uses less oil and is less spicy? Well, nonetheless, it remains flavorful. Fish and rice is a staple food of western part of Orissa. The Sun Temple of Konak is a beautiful heritage site. Now let's take a peek into this beautiful state of India. That is an awesome place. We too had a great experience like trekking to the beautiful mountains of the eastern zone. Hey, can anyone tell me which state in India was declared as fully organic state? No? It's Sikkim. Bhutia, that tribal dance is something worth watching. 
Young girls and boys perform this dance by holding snow white scarves in their hand. The color white is the symbol of peace, purity and prosperity. Yes, that's really awesome, isn't it? Imagine, it's said that there's 552 different species of birds and 690 species of butterflies. Do you know that Kanjanjunga, the world's third highest peak, is in Sikkim? They have yak smell and cheese made from it. Brr, it's so cold out there. Come, let's have a glance at the state of Sikkim.
wonderful that is the beauty of india so many states different culture but everything is unique itself we had gone to the western part of india and had a colorful experience in rajasthan the land of the tar desert which acts as natural boundary between india and pakistan we saw so many colorful peacocks roaming all over the place one of the folk dances of rajasthan is the chauri dance where all the women come together and dance so let's go and take a part of it wonderful Rajasthan is the land of the maharajas home to numerous medieval forts and palaces the kumbhalgarh fort has its longest fortification in the world there are 8 unesco world heritage sites only in rajasthan 
the camel ride, the Calbilis ride, the Chomi dance are all incredible. Let me take you to have a sneak peek on the colourful Rajasthan. colorful dresses and power pack performance. Wow! The place you visited next is a land filled with exquisite culture and tradition. Yes, we had a warm winter vacation in Mumbai, the capital Maharashtra. The fun-filled beaches remind me of the folk dances. We saw Koli. This dance pertains to the fisher folk of the Koli district of Maharashtra. This dance symbolizes the lives of the fishermen and the Lavani dance where the women perform this dance in the traditional attire called Navri or Nine Yard Sari. Let us all have a glimpse of the folk dance of Maharashtra.
I just love the dances. Now, have you seen the real Maharashtra other than this dance? Well, there are many beaches Juhu, Chaukati, and the delicious Vada Babaji. Oh my god, no words to describe it. Let's see the specialty and beauty of Maharashtra. Towards the south, we always hear this word called hati kapi, which means hot tea coffee. Do you know that this coffee tea outlet is all over Bangalore? We visited Goa this time. Let me tell you about Goa. Goa is visited each year by a large number of domestic and international tourists for its white sand beaches, zesty nightlife, uh, tasty food, place of worship, and world heritage listed architecture. It has rich flora and fauna owing to its location on the Western Ghats. It's also a biodiversity hotspot. I too tried the food tapping traditional dance of the Goans, the Goan Dalpot. Come on, now let's enjoy the powerful taps of the Goan Dalpot. Jamama, ani au santa tuka. Unda mu jamama, ani au santa tuka. Ani mazori chapi la lagi selu madina cha. Ani mazori chapi la lagi selu madina cha. Undi de mama I love, ani pachi pona lip love. Undi de mama I love, ani pachi pona lip love. Ani mazori chapi la na taka yaka kasa I love. Ani mazori chapi la na taka yaka kasa I love. Ya ya ma ya ya. Morgon, I'll be 
Enjoyed our trip to Goa and all the water sports show. Many places in Goa show the Dutch and the French influence. The years of Portuguese influence have, has given Goa its own unique charm. Its hippie Goan culture has made it a popular vacation destination among travelers and tourists of all age groups. Now I would like you to take through the wonderful Goa in the Western Ghats. Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, hey, oh Maria Pitache, hey, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, hey, oh Maria Pitache, oh yeah. Barra da da mão me luzi, estre de compri, barra da da mão me luzi, estre de compri. Alegna entrada me luzi, triste na saída Alegna entrada me luzi, triste na saída hey! Por amor da voz me luzi, eu fico saudade Por amor da voz me luzi, eu fico saudade Fazer a centenela me luzi, levar chicotada Fazer a centenela me luzi, levar chicotada Oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, hey, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, oh Maria Pitache, hey, oh Maria Pitache. Rapariga vem me luzir, não se pode nascer. Rapariga vem me luzir, não se pode nascer. Como a pera verde me luzi, não se pode comer Como a pera verde me luzi, não se pode comer Ai, luzi, luzi, me luzi, não cuspi no chão Ai, luzi, luzi 
Consigo me ilusinar, cuspir no chão Cuspir no meu peito, me ilusir, rega e coração Cuspir no meu peito, me ilusir, rega e coração Ai Maria Pitaxê, oh Maria Pitaxê Oh Maria Pitaxê, oh Maria Pitaxê Oh Maria Pitaxê, oh Maria Pitaxê Oh Maria Pitaxê Amazing! Even I felt like going for fishing into the deep sea with them. Next, we went for a short trip in our own state. Yes, Kerala. You know what? Kerala is also known for its beaches and fishing. What is Kerala known as around the world? God's own country. Yes, there are many attractions in our home state. My mom always says that. It is very important to know your own culture and tradition first before you embark to know about others. Just as we learn our mother tongue first, then English, Hindi, French and so on. National board plays and tiger dance performed during Onam festival. The dancers paint their bodies like tigers and perform the dance. Okay, let's see how they do the tiger dance and also Kuitupatu, a rustic harvest dance of Kerala. Wow, that was a graceful performance. And now, Devatundas Vandam Nadu, which attracts global tourism.
this summer vacation, I will tell my parents to take me all over India. That's silly. That is not possible. India is so huge, but even I want to explore a beautiful country. Come on, children. Now, now we, we need to board the plane for Tumanjana. Hey, Adil, why are you sad? Because the journey is about to end. But at the same time, I'm very happy to go back home with all these wonderful memories. Don't worry, buddy. Cheer up. All of us are going to meet in school soon. We'll share all our wonderful experience with other friends. Ek Bharat, 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 India. That was indeed a wonderful play. Despite the diverse culture, we stand united. We should be proud to be part of this peaceful and harmonious country, India. As we come to the close of this wonderful day, may I invite Aslam Akbar Anas of Grade 1 to deliver the vote of thanks, which will be followed by the national anthem. A warm good evening to everybody present here. It is my honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks. On behalf of DPS Kollam, I extend heartfelt gratitude to all of you who graced this occasion and made it a memorable one. I thank the honorable chief guest, Ms. Nalani Neto, for taking out valuable time to be present with us for our first ever virtual annual day celebration. Your presence meant a lot to us. I also take this opportunity to thank the school management for their constant guidance and blessings. I thank the students and their families for all the assistance provided and for being a part of this function. Special thanks to our dear principal and teachers for supporting us to deliver this function successfully. A special mention must be made about our office administration personnel and ancillary staff who always assist our teachers. Thank you all once again. Please rise for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jaya hai Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Uttkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchala, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Aashish, Maage, Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangala Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He